Alex Carr from Denison Yachting, and today I have the pleasure of taking you on board Stay, the 2017 San Lorenzo SL86 here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The San Lorenzo SL86 has timeless, elegant lines one has come to expect from the Italian shipyard. Subtle sophistications combined with innovative changes which are a culmination of decades of experience. For example, instead of a retractable canvas sunroof on the sun deck, which always tend to break or get dirty, the SL86 has electric blades that open the roof. This blends in with the bicolor superstructure and is just an overall better design. It's small details like these that keep San Lorenzo at the forefront of this segment of the market. Each San Lorenzo is uniquely their own, combining 60 years of experience building tailor-made motor yachts, artisan creations that echo Italian design. The state-of-the-art facilities located in La Spezia and Via Reggio, Italy, has really transformed the market, having introduced a product that was uniquely their own, uniquely San Lorenzo. Stay features an almost minimalistic art deco decor highlighted by natural colors, satin finished woods, and large windows creating an almost zen-like interior feeling. Owners and guests have no choice but to feel relaxed when on the sea. Personally speaking, I love the profile lines of the brand, which ranges from 70 feet to over 200. The interior decors that'll be found throughout the entire line of San Lorenzo yachts is gonna be very similar to the same sophisticated feel you're gonna find on board stay today. Starting our walkthrough today, we're here on the hydraulic swim platform where you have your Williams 385 jet tender. Love the Williams 385 jet tender, fast, efficient, and I feel also goes well with the profile lines of the San Lorenzo SL86. Immediately forward of your tender is the garage, which features a Yamaha EX Deluxe three-person jet ski and plenty of additional storage. Continuing up the Euro transom to the aft deck, you're gonna notice teak decks that continue throughout the entire exterior of the boat. Here on the aft deck, you have a built-in settee, centerline satin finished teak table, which is the first of three dining areas on board. You can comfortably seat eight to 10 guests here and full walk arounds continue to the bow, both on the port and starboard sides. On the starboard side, you have a nice option, which is the third wing station, which allows the captain great visibility when backing down into a slip. Opposite to port, just before you go into the main salon, you have a door that gives you access to the engine room. Stay features twin MTU 12V 2000 series M94 engines, which are 1,947 horsepower each, giving her a top speed right around 30 knots and a fast cruise speed of 20 knots. Stay features two Onan generators, the main generator being 27 kW and the smaller night generator being 22.5 kW. Stay features a full options package on board, ranging from mechanical upgrades like stern thruster, water maker, Raymarine gold package, satellite CTEL, and Crestron. She also features at anchor zero speed stabilizers, giving her a comfortable ride and over 100,000 BTU of tropical air conditioning, assuring that you're just as comfortable on the inside. From here, follow me up the starboard side to the bow. The bow is typically a forgotten space on board a yacht, but not on board the San Lorenzo SL86. Centerline, you have a large U-shaped settee area, great for lounging, complete with a high-low table. When the table is completely lowered, you have a sun pad that goes in the middle that transforms the entire space into one big lounge area. Opposite of the lounge area to the bow, you have access to your chain lockers and ground tackle. Leaving the bow, our next stop is the main salon, which is accessible from the aft deck through a glass sliding door. Entering the salon to starboard, you have a built-in L-shaped settee complemented by two smaller chairs. Opposite of the settee, you have a 55-inch TV that slides out from behind the bookcase, which I think is a really innovative design. Love the combination of satin finished woods, white couch, and pops of color from the accent pillows, chair, and ottoman. Sweetening the space is a hidden refrigerator, wine cooler, and ice maker. Forward of your settee, you have your formal dining area that comfortably seats eight guests with a view to boot. Opposite of your dining area to port are a set of stairs that lead down to our guest accommodations, which we're gonna go to next. All the way back aft is the full beam master cabin, highlighted by an offset king berth. To starboard is the master bath, featuring his and her sinks and shower in a beautiful custom stone with bidet. 
The entire bath area can be closed off by two privacy doors. Forward of the bed is a large walk-in wardrobe and TV hidden as a mirrored wall when not in use. A vanity also complements the space. Moving forward is a guest cabin featuring two single berths that push together to form a queen berth. Back aft is the ensuite, complete with the same amazing stonework found in the master cabin. Continuing to port is the same size cabin with a slightly different layout. Two single berths that combine to form a queen with private ensuite. Both of these cabins feature large portholes, hanging lockers, and additional storage underneath the berths. Moving all the way forward down your guest companionway is the VIB cabin that features an inboard facing queen berth with ensuite located forward towards the bow. Opposite of the berth is a mirrored wall that hides a TV when not in use. Additional storage is located below the berth as well as a large hanging locker and desk area. Heading back up to the main deck, we're actually going to follow the stairs all the way to the sun deck. Entering the sun deck, the first thing you're going to notice is how large and inviting the space is. All the way forward is your second helm, which also features that Raymarine Gold package. Center line below the hardtop, which has those electric blades I mentioned earlier, is what I would consider your main dining area on board. Both the port and starboard, you have additional storage, also great for serving family style meals. This also doubles as a great area for your morning workout, a place that's uninterrupted by crew and has the best view in the house, much in part to the glass wall located all the way back aft. Touching on that style that San Lorenzo presents, I think the hardtop is one of those features that make her stand out versus the competition. Instead of your standard white arch, the San Lorenzo SL86 features a tri-color blend between matte black, metallic gray, and your off-whites. I really think this adds a pop of style that makes it uniquely San Lorenzo. Heading back down to the main deck, we're gonna continue forward towards the galley. Before stepping forward into the chef and the crew area, I want to point out this glass door, which is a great way of keeping privacy between owner and crew. The starboard is your galley kitchen that has black granite countertops, a lot of natural light from two windows, and a door that opens up, giving you direct access to the exterior. As far as your stainless steel appliances are concerned, you have Gaganau stovetop and oven, LG Professional full-size refrigerator freezer, and microwave oven. Opposite of your galley is your day head, complete with sink, head, and bidet. Continuing forward from here is our main helm station, located to starboard, and outboard of that, an additional sitting area. The bridge deck features a Raymarine gold package with three flush-mounted glass monitors. Centerline, you have the stairs that lead down to the crew accommodations. Continuing forward from here, you have two bunk rooms that share an ensuite bath. I wanted to point out that all bathrooms on board feature Tecma heads and bidets. From the crew accommodations to the common spaces, her timeless design and sophisticated decor. It's these details that solidify the San Lorenzo SL86 as an industry leader not just today, but for years to come. Thank you for joining me on board STAY, the 2017 San Lorenzo SL86. If you'd like additional information or to arrange a private showing on board, feel free to contact me at any time.